I think it was a, a lovely game of football. Two teams who really went for it. Two teams who was in need of three points. You know, so I think um, to start off with, um, we didn't play cautious football. We tried to go for it. And obviously I said to the players before, um, to be brave, to take chances and to play, to play with enthusiasm, play with joy and try and be on the front foot, you know, because when it's two teams that's in the position that we are, no one wants to make the first mistake. So if we can apply the pressure from the off, then maybe we'll just put them on the back foot and hopefully, you know, opportunities will start to, to appear for us. And if we take one, if we go, if we go in front early, then it will be a completely different ball game and it will be a more open game. But we started really, really well. Didn't take a chance that we had first and then went on the counter, um, set piece and then boom, bah, from a corner. We didn't defend our lines. We didn't, we had two opportunities where we could have cleared it and didn't do so. And then, yeah, ball fell kindly for Chippa player and then he slotted in and you go one nil down and then you think, oh, wow. Same, rubbish, different day, you know, but obviously I tried these two days that I've joined about the confidence, about <clears throat> having that resilience because in life, you get a lot of setbacks, you know, but you keep going. You don't let a setback set you back even further. If one door closes, another one opens. So it's like that. If we go one nil down, we lift our heads up, we pick it up, and then we play even quicker. Then we play even better. We, we run harder. And it was nice to see that the players responded to, to, to the message that was coming across to them. And then, yeah, we two great goals to get back in it and then we go 2-1 up and we try to keep it steady and stable to last us to the half time if you go in front in this in the half then yeah you know we we could we could just get our foot all back into the game and, and that's exactly what happens and then fortunately um we Gave ourselves some problems in the second half early, too too casual, too easy, too relaxing, and then allowing Chipper just slowly, slowly to get a foothold in the game, and 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 try and turn things around. But Mata made um, a few brilliant saves, you know, that kept us at two one, and then the counter attack football that we transition and 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 so forth. So. We were managed to hit him on the counter and then Memela got his second of the day. And, um, you know, 3-1. And we could have had more as well, but I think we wanted to save some for for the new year because, you know, you don't want to, your first game, it's like honeymoon period and then the players score four, five, six and then the next games come and then we struggle to even hit the target or put shots on goal. So I think, yeah, we just control the game. We control the game um, with ease, re relatively ease. And then it was just for us getting to know each other better on the field, field and getting to know the movements of, of, of the players. But I think, yeah, we were pretty solid and we rightfully deserved all three points. No, oh yeah, thank you for the question, Robin. Um, I think um, today was perfect. It was the it was the best start. It was a dream start, to be fair. Um, especially with um, when you have watched had a chance to watch the team play, and on Wednesday we didn't give a good account of ourselves. So you think to yourself, "Oof, is this going to be a really hard harder task than?" Which, what I thought it was, but listen, I think the quality that we have in the team, I, 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 I've always been confident, you know, if I can get them just to in, start to enjoy their football again, start to enjoy life, and um, you know, I can get the best out of them, and yeah, if they can give me their support by wanting to work hard and, 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 and working accordingly to how I want to work and how I want to get the best out of the players, 
and then we'll make it work. And 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 yeah, you saw, you saw the the mindset today, the mentality. You know, everyone was on song. Even when we went, even when we went one 0 down, we never, we never gave up, or we never showed that we're dropping our heads and that. And everyone was positive, and the message was clear. You know, that there's still plenty to play for, and and. And players like Mamela, who drove the team forward with his charism and his um, affection for scoring goals. And Shaka was instrumental, you know, just his hold-up play, bringing players into the game, um, assisting teammates and, and being at the right place at the right time, you know. Um, assist of himself, you know, to from a striker to a winger to winger slash striker provided the assist for Mulenga's goal. So I was very pleased with with the at the pace that we were able to play from the front men, Shaka, uh, Mulenga, Memela. But I have to give a lot of credit credit to the guys behind them. Ola Mlambo was superb, you know? He was a little bit out of his position because I've asked him to play a little bit higher up the field because of his intelligence that he has. Um, the football brain, and he just delivered it to a T, you know. The joy that the front players had, having Kolam Lamba Lambo behind them and assisting them with those with those champagne passes, it was just a marvel to watch. Even at one, no, I never had a doubt that we would come back because we had the, we had the artillery to, to head back at Chipa, you know. Hey, Temba, thank you for your question, man. Um, just to simplify that for you, Veli was unavailable because of injury. Um, Veli had a little accident where he had a swollen up face. He took an allergic reaction to some chemicals. You know, these players of today, instead of going to salon, you do the, the hairstyle and he had an a allergic reaction to to the the dye of the hair and some of them some went near his face and then obviously with the um, reaction the allergic reaction his face was completely swollen up it was like he was in a boxing match that's how how big his face swelled up so obviously um we tried to wait and see if it if it calms down and that and then on saturday I had to make a decision. I had to I had to make a call if I wait for today or I just pull the plug in and obviously Valley will be unavailable, not because we're playing Chippa or for any reason that it was just he was not medic medically he wasn't available for the team and that's why he was out. Coach uh, Rob from Cape Town, hope you well. Robster, how are you, man? Sorry I didn't get back to you when I got the job. <laughs> it's cool, guy. Busy man. It uh, was meant it was meant to be a um how do you call this? Secret. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard to keep a secret from you when we were having our conversations. So hey. I apologize to that, my brother. That's okay. Coach, listen, about that though, um, you know, over the years, a, couple, a lot of coaches have said that football can kill you. Football can give you a death. Having spent a year away from football, is it fair to say that football can give you life too? Being at home can kill you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, in my case, yeah, you know, with the COVID and being stuck in, oh, you want to pull your hair out. You want, oh, you want to just do, get off the couch and get off being a, a, a couch coach than being in, in, involved in the real deal, you know? So when this opportunity came, I was, I was, I was, um, I thought the project was ideal for me. You know, it's a chairman that's super ambitious. It's a chairman that um, he wants to conquer. He wants to, he wants to achieve things and he's got to get the right people involved, you know, and, and who better, who better than me to take his team forward, bring excitement to the Zulu kingdom. Um, and I was very eager and pleased 
to take up that challenge and 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 yeah i want to put my own imprint on the team and identification you know so when people knows people you see the good job cape town city is doing now you know i had a part to play in that and then i think i can do exactly the same or maybe even if more yeah at amazulu so i'm i'm pleased to be here and i'm pleased that football has given me life back and i'm going to make make the utmost of this Uh, Fidel from Frontrunner, uh, Coach Benny, uh, the transfer window will be opening soon. Within a few days of time that you've spent at Amazulu, which areas do you think uh, need strengthening? Well, obviously, in two days' time, you could you can't really assess. I think, and I'm also not trigger happy. I'm I'm also not very quick to to want to just dive into the transfer market and see what's there. I think we've got a massive squad. We've got a big squad. And if I call myself a coach, I can I should make these players better. So instead of looking to to buy um, a finished product, I can make the good players that we already have at the football club the real deal, the finished product, you know? So yeah, so I'm, I want to work. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not hungry for to dump into the transfer market and see what players we can get. I think we've got a really big squad, a good enough squad. If there's a necessary to, when I make my assessment and that, and then, yeah, I will speak to the, to the chairman. But um, at this point in time, it doesn't look like there's anything that I need. I just need to make these players fitter and make them better and make them ready and hungry like they were today. Um, one of the young players I actually brought in towards the end of the game, Kumalo, and he was he was peace, peace mode. You know, he's fantastic. And then obviously we've got um, a boy called um, Maduna who's coming back from injury, who I also think is a sensation of a player, you know? So, so yeah, the problem in South Africa is if a player is 29, 30, then he's over the hills. How old is Ronaldo? How old is Messi? You know? How old is Gareth Bale? How old is so many top players who's in their 30s um, and people, to us as South Africans, yeah, he's finished, he's clear. I think I can squeeze every little bit of juice out of these players that I can. So I am not hungry to get into the, the transfer market to get overpriced for players where you could have, you could use the experience that we have here in the team, you know, combine with the young players and make them better. And then once we click as a team, once we find a formula, once we find you know, our, our, our mojo as a team and we synchronize, I think, yeah, it's going to be exciting times in, 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 in like I said, in, in KwaZulu-Natal. But this team is going to just keep climbing up the ladder. That is the ultimate goal that, I'm, that I want. And I want to make the players better so we can, we can achieve all that together. Oh, no, yeah, I, um, I'm definitely, I think they deserve it, you know. We've been through hell and back with this COVID-19. It's really disrupted life, life in general, not just football. So, yeah, so I think um, the year is coming to an end and we want to end it high. We, they, they, they've given me heart and soul today, you know, which was not just the three points, but the good football and the way they applied themselves in the game, the effort that they put in, the way they worked so hard. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that and I think I have to reward them. So yeah, I think when I get down now, they'll be waiting for me to say when they wanna be back in, 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 in December, you know? So I think I'm gonna have a date with, with destiny when I get down. Hungry players waiting for me, wanting off until the 29th or the 30th of, 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 of December. But we'll see. We'll do it within reason.
Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a headache and a half. It's a migraine, to be honest. You know, when you have these players back, but I think it's a really good migraine because we'll be able to swap and change, you know, and, and, and rotate players um, when you see the performances that Shaka put in today. He deserves a, t a, a, a spot in the team for well-deserved um, performance. And then you've got Major. Majoro is coming back, who's also scored goals for the team, who's, who's, who's still there. You know, at his tender age, he works hard for the team and and he set he set he set the he set the benchmark. He set the he set the tone for for how we play and what we want to achieve. Pardon me. So we've got Mem um, um, Majoro coming back, and then Bongi and Tule is also he's, he's back in training and he's slowly getting his fitness. So once we get him to a level where he was, he can be become at his best. I want to help make him one of the top and deadliest strikers in the league, you know, because he's got, like Shaka, good physique. He can battle with players. Bongi's got speed and he's got an eye for goal. So, you know, I want to work with these guys and make them better because come January, come um, the half of January, we've got so many games, so many difficult games where if we apply ourselves correctly and be nice, we can we can climb up the table. And the ultimate goal, obviously, is is to to be in and amongst the top the top half, the top five, four, five, six teams in the league. You know. Coach uh, Rob again. Um, you re reuniting with all these strikers. Obviously, you and Shaka had a really good relationship at Cape Town City. He had his best stats there. Um, but also reuniting with the strikers sitting next to you on the bench uh, in Bele. Uh, <laughs> how's that going? And, and is it a, is it is it a a nice reunion to have? Oh, it, uh, you know what? I thought I thought oh, football being a coach is already the loneliest job in the world. You know, it's one of the loneliest jobs in the world because you're out there, you've got your team behind you, but you're still by yourself. So, and it really looked like I was on my, by my lonesome self, but you know what? Nomvete Bele has come in. I've asked him to join my coaching staff and, and he's just been a breath of fresh air. You know, um, he still looks like he's a player. He still looks, he still behaves like he fits in with the group, with the team. But I think it's just so nice that you have someone from, from Durban, someone from the township, someone from the locals who's came through the ranks, who's played at the highest level, you know. He's been a Bafana legend. He was my strike partner for so many years, you know. We've got just a really good, good combination, a good partnership. So for him to accept me asking him to be one of my coaches on my team. Ah, oh, it was a delight, you know, and, and we had so much fun, me and him, we had so much fun. And yeah, with the rest of the guys, the rest of the coaching staff that we have, you know, the analysts, the fitness coaches, um, the GMs, the team manager, uh, the kit manager, like all of the staff, Goalkeeper coach, myself and Bele, you know, two young guys who a lot of people think they they don't have what it takes. We just had fun with it. And it showed in the way the team played, the players played, that they know this is going to be a fun team. This is going to be a team that play electrifying, exciting football. This is a team that wants to play Football to entertain the fans, but football to score a lot of goals and football to win matches. You know, three points is is, is fundamental to us. And yeah, and when you when you've got two guys that's done it at the at the highest level, sitting together, working together, what more can you ask for? You know. No, thank you very much, guys. I know it's um it's a strange year that we have to do this, um, by a. Uh, um, Skype or 
you know, um, via Zoom. But appreciate what you guys have done and the nice welcomes that I received and also the positive, the positiveness or the positivity that I've gotten in my first game in charge and the win. So I want to thank you guys for for the support, you know, and for for also always saying the right things when it comes to me and, and, and what I've achieved because you could easily say that I'm an inexperienced rookie coach and that there's better coaches out there, but you guys support the locals and, and the young coaches. So, yeah, um, I'm grateful for that and I wish you guys a splendid Christmas and a new year. And I'm super excited to start when the season reopened and then just continue on this brilliant run that we that we on. One game, one win, three goals scored. So hopefully this is the beginning of 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 of, of something very special in the kingdom of the Zulus. Hebe, who's to? Hebe, who's to? <laughs>